Hey guys, Zarif here. So I'll be taking you through this marvelous designer beginner series. So this has been the most requested video I have had in a while and I've been procrastinating this video for a very, very long time. But finally it's here guys. So it's gonna take you from a total beginner to a professional in marvelous designer. So let's dive into the video. So when you open your designer this time, this is what you're gonna have. And here on the left, you have your 3D garment window where your clothes simulation happens. And here on the right, you have your 2D pattern window where you draw all the patterns that make up a garment. So all the pattern pieces that make up any garment will be drawn on this 2D pattern window. And then you simulate it and see what it will look like on the 3D garment window. You might be wondering where are the avatars? Where can I find the avatars so I can start designing already? So just chill, chill. So if you're using Marvelous Designer 7 and 8, you're going to find the avatar here. You'll find a folder called avatar when you click on it you're going to find the female avatar the male avatar and the kid avatar so let's pick female a so when you select the female a avatar you can find the attributes for this avatar in the folder female a if you want to change the hair you can select any hair of your choice here you can also change her shoe yeah so whatever avatar you select you can actually go to the various folders for the hair and shoe and change the attributes for that avatar in terms of their hair and shoe but if you're using a lower version of marvelous designer you're not going to find this folder there you're not going to find that avatar folder in the library you're going to find it somewhere in avatar editor you find go to the avatar menu and you go to avatar editor that is where you find it but on the newer versions like seven and eight you're going to find the avatar and her attribute or his attribute in the library so next i'll be showing you how to navigate through marvelous designer so basically if you're using a three point mouse that is the mouse that have the left the right and the ruler to navigate through in marvelous designer on the 2d window if you want to pan you have to hold down the ruler and you can pan through the 2d window likewise the 3d window you can still hold down the ruler and pan through and if you want to rotate in the 3d window because obviously you can't rotate on the 2d window so if you want to rotate hold down the right click and you can rotate around the 3d window and if you want to zoom in and out the 2d and 3d window just roll the roller in and out and you can you can zoom in and out if you want to change the settings like if this is so alien for you you're used to using maya or 3d max so there is a configuration for you so that i can continue in that line of navigation so you go to the settings go to user settings go to view control and under this regular mouse just bring down the drop down box and you'll find maya you'll find 3d max you find style card or people that use tablet so you can use this to set whatever you want the regular mouse is the default navigation for marvelous designer but to make it convenient for people that use other applications like Maya 3D Max or a tablet, there are also navigation configurations for you. And if you want to change your shortcut, you go to the shortcut and when you select file, you'll find every form of menu that you find under the file menu. So let's say you want to change the shortcut key for saving. You just click on it and you can just click on what you want it to ask you if you want to replace the shortcut. If you say yes, it automatically changes it. But if you don't want that, you can just go back to what it used to be, Control and S, and it changes it. So that's how you can change. You can add as many shortcut keys as you want. If you don't have a mouse that has the ruler, you can go to this part that has a function for the middle button and change it to be the left or the right. So you don't necessarily need to have the ruler mouse to work in Marvelous Designer. Even with the mouse that just have the left click and the right click, you can change the functions of the mouse in this column here so you can just change it to meet up with whatever mouse you have over here on the far right we have the object browser so here in the object browser you find the list of all the patterns the shapes the seams or the materials you have attributed to your clothes design so here in the scene you find all the objects all the patterns all the shapes you have given to your patterns everything that make up that clothes you're designing you find it here in object browser where you can attach fabrics to your design here in buttons you can find the buttons you've used you can find buttonholes top stitches everything that is making up that cloth you're designing you'll find it in object browser so here in property editor you're going to find the actual parameters that make up each pieces for instance if i draw this rectangle over here you're going to find every parameter that make up this rectangle if i have elasticity on this rectangle you're going to find the elastic turned on the length in the 2d window the length in the 3d window which is actually the same thing 
So you're going to find whether it's double sided, the fabric type, the particle distance, all these things I'm going to cover it during the course of this series. So stay tuned. Your 3D avatar has a shadow on the 2D avatar. And if you try to move the X, if you try to move, move your avatar, you, you can notice that it is also moving on the 2D. But this movement can only occur in 2D motion. It can't go otherwise. It can only show you this movement in 2D. Only when you're moving the actual bones of the, of the avatar, not when you're rotating. Rotation is different, but if you're moving, the ro if you're rotating it from the bone, that's when you notice this movement. So whatever position, whatever pose your avatar has on the 3D window, that is the same position it's going to have on the 2D window. What you see behind this shadow is called grid. There's also grid for the 3D, but I turned it off. But if you want to turn it on, you go to display, go to environment, and you can show 3D grid. That's where you can find the grid for the 3D window. But I always love to turn it off. It's quite distracting. Or what you can see behind the 2d pattern window is called grid so when you're designing it looks bigger but when you're getting very specific with your design you would want as you can see now it's looking quite big but when you're getting more specific in your design you would want it to be smaller and if you want to change it just right click on the 2d pattern window you're going to see grid properties select the grid properties and then you go to distance the default is 10 and if you change it to 5 it's going to get smaller if you change it to 1000 it's going to get bigger as you can see so yeah that's it for for changing the grid but let's take it back to the default yeah so simple as possible so in the next video i'll go into telling you more about the tools and we can actually start designing in marvelous designer so see you in the next video